So Monty and I have been living in the future in the last week, immersing ourselves in the beta version of watchOS 10. But I do have to admit that testing watchOS 10 on my Series 8 made me really miss my Apple Watch Ultra. I'll let you know what those two things are later on in the video. Now watch OS 10 might seem like a simple facelift. It's really light on the under the hood improvements from my perspective, but let's not forget that the most revolutionary features usually come from Apple hardware releases. So the best for watch OS 10 is probably yet to come. This Apple watch is trying to take Monty's heart rate. So here's three features that Monty and I have come across that we think you guys are gonna love about the new watch OS 10. First up, the control center. It's not in the same place anymore. You're basically dealing with my favorite coffee shop just moved, now I have to find a new one. On watch OS 9, like the last 10 years, you just swipe up, but on the 10, you have to push that side button. Now on watch OS 9, the side button was dedicated to the dock. How many of you guys actually use the dock? But on watch OS 9, the dock is now accessed by double clicking the digital crown. And the shortcut that was there before, double click, I don't know where it is on watch OS 10. Now where the control panel used to be when you swiped up on watch OS 9, it is now something called smart stacks, which is probably gonna be the next feature that nobody ever uses. Cause let's be honest, Siri's not that smart. Now I didn't think this was gonna be a big deal, but scrolling through some of my short comments, you guys actually like using this double click feature a lot. Next thing you're gonna like about watchOS 10, the redesigned apps. Now when I was using these redesigned apps, I was thinking this is just basically Apple putting lipstick on a pig, it's just a facelift. But after a week of using these redesigned apps, they look really good to me. I'm a big fan of how the controls in watchOS 10 fit the rounded corners of my Series 8. What's your favorite redesigned app, Monty? Nice. At the end of the day, it really just gives your Apple Watch a fresh new look after staring at the same apps for like 10 years. And the number one feature, which may be a bit contentious, well, mental health. Now, if you've never thought about your mental health, using the state of mind uh, portion of the mindfulness app is gonna be a revelation if you're willing to try. Here's the thing, mental health is usually talked about after something bad happens, but it should be a proactive thing. My mantra in life for the last like 20 years is like, treat my body like a temple. And that also includes my brain. Now in my mildly older years, I've learned that being aware of my emotions is actually a good thing. If you know how you feel, then you can address what's making you feel that way. Now it's taken me several years of therapy to get to this point, but instead of wasting thousands of dollars on therapy, you can just start using this app. Because the app will force you to figure out how you're feeling at the moment. Say I'm feeling slightly unpleasant. They'll tell me to describe how I'm feeling. So we'll say hopeless, oh no. And then it'll correlate what's happening in your life to that feeling. So, you know, my hobbies are making me feel uncom uncomfortable. Now, whether you agree with me or not, I can guarantee that the notifications from the mindfulness app will be more useful than the prompts for hand washing. So those are the three features for my time with the beta version of watchOS 10 that I think you guys will find the most use of. Oh, wait, <laughs> before I forget, the ultra, the battery life, and the brightness of the screen is what I miss the most between the Series 8 and the ultra. I'll be honest with you guys, this feels like a pile of hot garbage compared to this. So that's all we got. Hit the notification bell if, so that every single time Monty shows up on the internet with an Apple Watch, you get notified.